Llamas, a domesticated animal from South America, are both intelligent and social. She's very alert. <laughs> She's extremely aware. Of everybody. Very friendly. But they may also have something special. Llama is another camelid, produce an, an unusual type of antibody in addition to a conventional antibody that humans uh, make. Scientists have long turned to llamas for antibody research, from HIV to influenza. In 2016, researchers were studying two earlier coronaviruses in a llama named Winter in Belgium. Now her antibodies from a blood draw are being studied by a team of researchers who were funded in part by the NIH to find a treatment for COVID-19. You can think of it sort of like uh, one side of, of, of a piece of Velcro. Right? So the virus has a bunch of bees sticking out. Our cells have the counterpart to it and it tries to stick and attach the virus to our cells like Velcro. And what we're trying to do is come up with a, an antibody that can bind and cover one side of the Velcro and then it can no longer stick to our cells. And if you can do that, then the coronavirus no longer becomes a threat to us? That's right. We've prevented it from attaching to our cells and infecting us. If coronavirus is like an invading army in our body, then what are the antibodies? Yeah, the antibodies are, are the soldiers that we've trained to specifically recognize uh, that invading army. And destroy it? And destroy it. Scientists will then take Winter's antibodies and synthetically create a copy of that antibody as a treatment for COVID-19. Would you inject this to somebody who doesn't have coronavirus? Yeah, potentially. The antibodies can be used in, in two different ways. They can be used prophylactically before somebody is infected. And this can be really advantageous for uh, high risk people that maybe you know are likely to be exposed to the virus. You can think of like healthcare workers, nurses in hospitals, you can inject them. They would probably be protected for one to two months. The antibody titers would wane over time. So they would need another injection every every month or two, but this would protect them from hopefully getting getting infected. And what about people who already are infected and are trying to fight COVID-19? Yeah, and that's the, that's potentially the other way is using the antibody for treatment, uh, particularly if it's early on in the infection, there'll be some time window, maybe a few days after infection where you could administer the antibody and then it will help their bodies fight off the virus. And maybe that will uh, decrease the severity of the disease or shorten the number of days in the hospital. The researchers are now preparing to conduct preclinical studies in animals, then testing in humans in the hopes to find an antibody treatment for the COVID-19 pandemic. Is Winter going to be our hero? Uh, I hope so. Yeah, well, Winter's, Winter's been retired. She's living comfortably on a farm in Belgium. You know, she's produced a really interesting molecule that's being pushed forward rapidly for clinical development. Such a strange place to be looking, but I guess that's what you do as a scientist. Yes, that's what, it, as, as part of uh, science, it's important that we explore. Exploration uh, leads to the development of, of these new types of interventions that could potentially save us from a pandemic. It's wow. really interesting. Carrie, right. how long do they think until they have that antibody treatment? Well, you know, this is science, of course. It could be months. It could be years, of course. We're all hoping on the month side, guys. Wow. And it's not just the llamas that produce yeah, the antibodies. Carrie, yeah. True or false, it's not just the llamas, it's also actor Lorenzo Llamas. Oh, <laughs> gosh. <laughs> wow. not here. We one. miss you. There's another one they're doing some research with. The other one they're doing research <laughs> with, uh, but it's certainly not as easy to work with, and that's sharks. So you can understand wow. they chose to use llamas. And, and just sort of an aside, guys, you know, um, we say llamas in this country, but uh, my mother who grew up in South America, I went to high school in South America, we say llama. And so if you were to uh, use a little of your high school Spanish, I guess we could say, como se llama? There we go, guys. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Not to be outdone. <laughs> with Carrie the... worked the sharks into this story. Yes, he did. Oh, yeah. Sooner than later, we'll be with Carrie Sanders live swimming with sharks. He'll no be in question. a wetsuit before you know it. <laughs>